my channel as you can tell from the title of this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get a sleek low ponytail only for ten dollars okay y'all so I have forgot I had all this weed because y'all know I went through that little phase and I was doing my own hair and I was not wearing wigs and all that stuff so um I have found this and this is 24 inches and I'm not mistaken oh it's nine dollars actually but um but one more is ten dollars but we're just gonna run over say ten because you still spend this ten dollars probably so my math is way off but um anyways um it looks like this it's a fake ponytail and it's black they also have colorful ones so if your hair is dyed it's like a red or something you could dye a bundle red and wrap that thing around my hair is black right now because the color that's the last color i dyed it so um the hair is gonna match perfectly i know you're probably looking at my hair and looking like girl what the heck do you have going on because you like a hot mess i know i was i was gonna do a wig review instead but then i was like i can't put a wig on because my hair is not going to let me so i was like why not just film uh, a video of me you know styling my hair this is closed because um last video this thing had opened up and i had to i had to edit and i was like ah oh, my boobies okay but anyways we're not talking we're not gonna talk about that Okay, anyway, so y'all already know how I used to do my hair. I used to do it in sections. Me, personally, I'm going to have to do this junk in sections because y'all guys can see it's natural. It's thick. And your girl, it's just not, no. So, um, what I'm going to do, what you what you should do, this is going to be a tutorial, of course, because I'm showing y'all how I achieve mine and all of that. What is this in my, oh, that's um face wash. I just got out the shower. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to part your hair. I wouldn't go through with a comb if your hair is like mine's right now. Even though my hair is, I can move through it because I oiled it after, um, when did I oil my hair? I don't know when I oiled it, but I oiled this stuff. So, um, I can maneuver through my hair pretty well. See, just with this little pinky nail. What I want to do is put all of this in a ponytail up here. Wait, I can't use this ponytail holder because, um, I don't know why my, po my ponytail holders went, y'all. Like, they just left and I'm just like, why did y'all leave? So, um, okay, let me just stop rambling and um, show y'all what I'm about to do. Okay, so you want a wide tooth comb. What you're going to do with that wide tooth comb, oh, see, I'm already messing up. What you want to do is you want to damp your hair just a little bit because gel and water, when it mixes, it's going to make your hair feel different regardless. So, um, take a little water, take a little gel, but not right now, we're not using gel right now. This is going to help you detangle your hair. Um, you can use your brush to detangle it. Um, I'm not going to use this until I get ready to, um, what's the word? I'm not going to use that brush until I get ready to brush it into a ponytail. So, yeah. So, this is all you have to do. So, I'm just going to do this to this section until I know, until I feel like it's done all the way. And then I'm going to come back and talk to y'all. Okay, so as you guys can see, I can comb through my hair with no naps or nothing. Especially on this side, I can just comb straight through it. So what you want to do is take the type of gel you're going to use. You already know I'm an Eco Styler fan. I use Eco Styler gel because Eco Styler gel works best on my head. So um, I'm going to use the Eco Styler gel. This one's like top off. And you already know how I do my little brush thing. I'm going to dip my brush in the Eco Styler gel. Why is this cricket? I cannot wait for my new rope to come, y'all. Like, I cannot wait. I'm tired of this one. But, um, anyways, you're going to dip your brush in Eco Styler Gel. I only do this because I have nails and I don't want to, you know, I don't want it to touch it, to touch, to get up under my nails. So, what you're going to do, uh-oh, I'm mixing hairs in that don't go together. What you're going to do is you're going to get, um, go ahead and start brushing it. Oh, yeah, let me tell y'all. Don't use too much gel back here because, um, I use, like, sometimes when I use a lot of gel, it does not turn out right. I'm not going to say it'll turn out right. It just turns out all jelly and it has too much gel you know and i don't want that okay y'all so once you get the gel on there let me get this little corner right here once you get your gel on there you can go in with your um brush like this and you can just go in and this is what's going to get your ponytail to be sleek okay so if you got oh yeah y'all said i had 3c to 4a hair i don't know what hair texture i have somebody said i had 4c hair i know i don't have 4c hair you know i know that but um i just don't know what hair texture i'll be having but i, I wouldn't be mad if i did have 4c hair i'm just saying i don't have 4c hair. i know that for a fact i don't have 4c hair because my hair would be way harder to do y'all but um anyways you're gonna take a little um scrunchy thing and i'm going to 
ponytail this. Y'all, uh, if you're a real OG, you already know how this go in this period. My nose is itchy. Okay, so you got your little ponytail back here or whatever. And this, if y'all want to make your ponytail bigger, this also makes your ponytail bigger as well. Okay, y'all? It makes your ponytail bigger if you didn't know that. When you part it in sections because all your hair is getting into the ponytail. Now, I'm trying to decide, do I want to do a middle part? Or do I want to do a... I'm going to do a middle part because I always do side parts and I feel like I'm tired of the side parts. So your girl is going to do a middle part today. And to be easier to... um. Lay the, the middle part down than the side part. So you guys can see my hair is not long, but it is thick. Like, oh, and I just dropped my comb. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure your front is part, your um, you want to part this really good, basically. Like, you want this to be straight, you don't want this to be cricky or nothing, and you want it to follow up with your face. Okay, because I done did this a couple times and my junk was cricky. This is giving me a harder time than I thought to get this thing straight. So, um, hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. So, I have one side already, um, well, no, what am I talking about? I have it party. So, what I'm going to do is ponytail this and, um, start on this side. So, the same thing I did in the back, you're going to, ooh, all this hair. You're going to want to do the same thing to the front. You're going to wet it, but in the front, you're going to do it in sections. Okay, so it's wet. And now you're going to um go in and just do this to it. Ah, this hurts. Okay, now that I have it detangled and all that, I'm going to do it just like this. I'm gonna take all of this, gel it to the back, and all of that. Y'all, when I say all this, it's like it's easier than it looks. It is a little time consuming, but to me, this still is a fast hairstyle. The only reason the hairstyle have not been working out for me lately is because I haven't been doing it in sections. So if you have thick hair, you wonder why you can't get your slick back right, you have to do it in sections, honey. I know, we have to do it in sections. So um, I'm just gonna do this until all of this is um laid down. And what I'm doing is I'm gelling it to the back, straight to the back. Straight to the back. And then I take my comb and I'm going to, um, I'm not going to use this, use my other comb. And I'm going to, um, comb it out as well to make sure that it, I hope my light is not too bright. Because, honey, I don't know. But, yeah. So once you have it like this, y'all, you're not done yet. You want to take that ponytail you have back here. Some people can use some people use two to three ponytail holders, which used to be me. And then I realized um, all these ponytails are giving me a headache. That stuff gives me a headache, y'all. It gives me a headache. So I just dialed down to one ponytail holder, which is perfectly fine with me. Because it still, it still gets my hair laid and slayed and all of that. So um, what you're going to do is... Right, what I'm doing right now is just brushing it out and making it really like um, sleek and all that. Because I don't like having um, creases, lumps, or nothing like that in my um, slip backs. I don't like that. So um, what I do is brush it all the way out. What I want to do is put this in a ponytail holder. At least, it will, at the most, I might put two hair ties. That's the that's the most I would put on my hair is two. I'm not putting three no more because I used to do a lot. And what you're going to do is put this in a tiny little ball in the back of your head. So now that I have that tiny little ball, actually I don't need to put another one there. I'm gonna um, get this kitchen though because, honey, this stuff back here looking a hot mess. Okay, okay. Now I can move on and we can I can show y'all what I do next. Okay, so you can see it, it looks like this and all that. I think my part is a little bit straight. I honestly don't know. It's giving me cricket vibes right here. Okay, hold on. I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. Where's my edge brush? Okay. I'm going to go with my edge brush, but I'm not going to do my edges until my hair is tied down. That is what I do. I do not do my edges and then tie it down because the way my edges are set up, it won't work. So, yeah, I can't do that. And what is all this crust stuff? Wait, what the freak? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. 
So now what I do is, um, what I'm about to do, at least, I'm gonna go in with some of my, um, what the freak? You know, okay, where is it? Where is the stuff Okay, now I'm about to go in with some of this, um, got to be the black bottle kind. I used to go in with the, um, yellow bottle, but this is clear, so I rather use this. And I just take probably about a quarter size of it, and I just slick it down like this. Now let me tell y'all something. This stuff works really good, and considering the fact that my hair is uneven, this holds all my hair in place. All of it. All of the hairs are going to be held in place. Now what I'm going to do is go in with some foam. Now a lot of y'all probably like, girl, you put too much stuff in your hair. Me personally, I want to slick ponytail, and you clicked on this video, so... I'm going to show you how to get a slick ponytail. I'm going with some foam. The foam. This foam. Because they didn't have the foam that I normally use. And I'm just going to place that on top of my head. Ah! It's sliding. So, do it like this. I feel like foam plays a big part in this as well. Just like all the other products. And now what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to wash my hands before I do my makeup. Because honey... Honey, honey. Now what I'm gonna do is take some of my freeze blast, spray it in my hand. I do not spray it on my hair. I spray it in my hand and it'll look like this because I spray it on my hair, I don't, it's like, I can't distribute it, right? So, and I'm just gonna apply it like it was gel as well. This is gonna leave your hair shiny. I'm not gonna care. It's gonna leave it some shine and it's gonna be cute and all that. Now some people do their slip back with only using that. Me personally, I don't have that type of hair. My hair is not straightened. So, um, yeah. Now what you do, girls, is you're gonna take your hair tie not your hair tie. You're gonna take your head scarf and you're gonna tie this down. And while this is being tied down, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. So, um, hold on. Well, no wonder. Who how am I gonna tie something down like this? Like that is so not right. And this thing keeps opening. Okay. Now since it's right, you're gonna tie it down like this. I wanna leave some out. Well, the front out so I can do my eyebrows and I won't have makeup on my head scarf. So boom, tie this down. And you are done for now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to come back because my makeup is done. And I'm going to look cute. And we're going to get into how I install my ponytail. So I will see you guys when I am done. So now we can get into the hair. So basically, um, good thing I got two pairs of scissors right here. Because baby, I don't know how I thought I was going to get into this. Uh-oh, just fell. So, um, basically, this is the weave that I'm going to be using. As you guys know, like I said earlier, it's synthetic hair. Now let me tell y'all, um, this hair is not for everyday purpose, okay? I don't think so many people use this hair for like, ooh, this is gonna be really cute. For like everyday purposes. This hair, oh, uh, look at my lip gloss. This hair is not for everyday purposes, okay? This hair is probably for like a two day purpose, probably. If it, to be honest, it depends on that person and how well they can keep up with that hair. So what I'm gonna do is roll this out, roll the hair out for you guys so I can um see it. And um, uh oh, roll it out, and I'm gonna bobby pin the ends, but um, not yet. I want it to where if you like it was a normal track and you have the two. So basically, I have to um make sure this don't get knotted, knotted up because this hair will get knotted up. Actually, this hair feels actually really good. I don't care. So like when I was in high school, I was like, where are these girls using to do their tracks with? But then I realized they probably using this hair. It's cheap. It's long. But then again, in the long run, they hair be looking nasty, be looking all crunchy and stuff. But that ain't none of my business. <laughs> but like I said, this hair is not for everyday purposes. It's like, you know, it's for like, how can I explain it? Date night, out to eat, or if you ain't got no boyfriend, it's for something. But it ain't for everyday purposes, okay? Because then it's not going to look good. So um, what I do is I pin it. I don't, listen to me y'all, listen to me when I tell y'all this. If you want to avoid headaches with this hairstyle, because this hairstyle can give you a headache. It can either make you or break you. What you want to do is pin it across the top. How can I explain it? Instead of pinning the bobby pin down in your hair, pin it across the top of your ponytail right here. And then just start wrapping. Okay, y'all? So you got to figure out the flow and how it's flowing. And then you just wrap it. That is, that's all you do literally is wrap the hair. So, um... I'm gonna be wrapping this and wrapping it and wrapping it. So I'm not gonna talk while I'm wrapping this, y'all, because um I need to focus. So yeah. What you wanna do is take a part of this ponytail 
I gotta find a, I'm gonna use this brush. And you wanna brush it. Cause what you're gonna do is use this piece right here and you're gonna wrap it around this one. You're gonna wrap it around all of those tracks right there. See, mine's are already trying to slide. Baby, no, we ain't having it today. They trying to slide. You're gonna wrap it around those tracks. Some people um use freeze less and do it. I'm using a bobby pin because that's just what I use and what I would prefer to use than freeze less. Cause freeze less gets a little messy. I'm not gonna hold y'all, it gets messy. So after you get it wrapped, what you wanna do is um pin that down. Remember, don't pin it down into the ponytail, like pin it down on the side or something like that. So you know, yeah. Now what I'm gonna do is brush this. Well, I'm looking into the wrong mirror. I'm like, why well, I can't see the ponytail? So yeah, what you wanna do is brush this. And if you have this hair, make sure you keep a brush with you, honey. Cause like I said, you get what you pay for. But to be honest, this ain't all that bad. Okay, you see where, um, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's some hair sticking out right here. I'm just gonna wrap that. Um, my stuff is sliding, but you know, where am I gonna go anyway? So it's like, <laughs> nobody's really gonna see it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna spray this side too because, um, it's sliding. Not sliding, it's um, I got some flyaways, you know, some little flyaways. So, basically, y'all, this is how the hair turned out. This is how your hairstyle looks, how it turned out. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel. Make sure you read the red subscribe button down below. And if you're not following my social media, they'll be on the screen because everybody else on my social media, so I don't chew. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.